Hello everyone, my name is Mr. N Jersey and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be having a look at how we can connect multiple audio sources into one seat here in Stormworks. Before we get started with this video, if you are enjoying this video, don't forget that like and subscribe button and make a little bell icon to be notified about upcoming content as soon as it's posted. And while you're watching, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what else you'd like to see in any of my future videos. So that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this video. And getting started, ever since we got the new headsets here in game, we got a really cool way that we could actually hear what was being communicated to us. But the problem that comes up is that these new headsets only have one input and one output. So the major concern here is, for example, you have a creation where maybe you have a co-pilot or a passenger, and you also have two radios. Those all have their own nodes that they actually use to send audio out on. But the problem is the actual seat with the headset only receives one of those signals. There's no way to go and add them together so you can receive all the channels at once. So for example, if you wanted to receive from this radio, you would connect it directly to the seat. That means you would never be able to hear this radio or the person sitting next to you. Now there are two different ways that you can go and achieve this. Okay, that you can get all three of these outputs into the one seat itself. So you can actually hear all the radios at once, plus your player talking to you. So without having to change anything or do anything. Now it's relatively simple actually how you are going to get this set up. If you go into the workbench, you'll see I've just got this little test bed here with the two seats, two different radios. Now the old way would have to be to have a microphone on each one of them, to also have a speaker on one, each one of them and so on and so forth. So what we're going to do is actually going to get rid of the microphones. We don't need them anymore. Now, you'll notice that if you go into your actual audio here, you can see we've got an in and out on the radio. And on the seat, we also have an in and out. The problem is if we want to connect this plus this plus this, it goes and deletes the other ones. So we're going to create a little microprocessor to go and take all three of these inputs and send it into this one seat. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing for the other seat. So we're going to go into the Mac controller and we're going to call this, let's call this head set uh, audio. We can go into the logic and we're going to add the different inputs. So we're going to go, let's see, audio, audio, and audio. So this is going to be seat one. We'll do seat two. We'll then have the radio one and radio two okay so we have all of these inputs in theory we're then going to have two outputs the output is going to be seat one and seat two okay that way we can actually send to the seat and we're going to make those outputs okay we can then of course go and make this a little bit larger so you can see here i'm just going to go and spread all of this out we can go and reorder it so we can go seat one seat two we can have radio one we can have, let's see, radio two and C1 and C2. Perfect. We'll need some additional logic here. The two things we're going to need is going to be two input nodes, okay, on and off nodes. And this is going to be if radio one is on and actually communicating. So radio one and another one is going to be radio two. So if this one is actually communicating and receiving audio. Okay, so we have these two here. Once we have those two on, we can then go into our logic. We're gonna separate this all out. So you can see radio one, radio two, we've got seat number two, seat number one, radio number two, radio number one, seat two, and seat one. What we're going to be using is we're going to be using some audio switch boxes. Okay, so you can see there, I've got some audio switch boxes. I'm gonna get one, two, and one, and two. Okay, we're gonna get two of them for each seat. Okay, so you can see here we have two that's going to be useful for seat one and we've got two which is going to be used for seat two. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to go from the first switch box at the top into the off node. From the off here we're going to go straight into our seat. Same goes for the second one. We're going to go from the output into the off and then going straight into our seat. We're then going to just move this across a little bit. And we're going to say the default communication device is between the pilots or between the seats. Okay, so you can see here, we're going to get seat one, seat two. 
that's going to go to the off. Okay, so seat one is going to go to the off. Just make sure it actually isn't the same. So this is actually going to be seat two here at the top and seat one at the bottom. Okay, because seat one is going to go to seat two and seat two is going to go to seat one. And we're going to get that connected up. Once we've got that, we can then go and feed in our radio signals. So you can see I've got radio one and radio two. Radio one is going to go to the on of the first switch box and radio two is going to go to the on of the second switch box. We're going to do the same for the other seat. So radio one to the on and radio two to the on. Now you're probably thinking, well, then how does it actually go and switch? This is where we use these nodes here. We're going to take radio one and connect to the first switch box. And we're going to take radio two and connect to the second switch box. What it allows us to do is when radio one is receiving audio, it's going to switch over to the radio one signal of audio. And the same goes for radio two. We're going to just go and save this. So I'm going to go and copy and save this. And I'm going to save it into my inventory. Headset audio. I'm going to exit out and I'm going to go and grab it. Once we've got it down, we can just place it somewhere in our creation. We can now start getting everything connected. So we're going to go to our logic and we're going to say, okay, let's disconnect what we had earlier. I'm going to go from seat one into seat one. Okay. I'm going to go from seat two into seat two. I'm going to go from radio one into radio one and radio two into radio two. We're then going to have our outputs. So seat number two over here is going to go to seat number two. Seat number one is going to go to seat number one. Then all we have to do is go and connect something to radio one and radio two to tell it to actually go and switch. And that's where we're going to be using our actual speakers. Now these could be placed anywhere in your creation and we're going to connect the audio from our radio into the speaker and the audio from our radio into the speaker. We're using the speakers as triggers. So when the, the system decides and thinks, oh yeah, we are receiving something in the speaker, then it goes and switches the audio channels for us automatically so that we don't have to go and do it. Now I'm going to just go and demo this and actually show you that it is working. So we're going to go and get a light and you'll see here if I go and get a light here, place it down. Let's go and get a number to tell it what frequency we were running at. So constant number and let's go and do channel one. Okay. So we're going to connect this up over to the frequency here. We're going to connect the light over to the speaker. And you can see here when we actually start receiving, it should light that up, which means that speaker is on, which means it's switching the audio channel from instead of having it from the seat to the radio instead. I'm going to make sure I've got some electricity on all of these things. I can then go and get, let's say, a handheld radio just to see if it is going to work. So handheld radio, place it over there. Go and spawn this in, grab the radio. I'm going to go and put it onto frequency one. And if I press this button, in theory, we should get the light on. Okay, there we go. You can now see the light is on and working, which means it's coming through the actual headset there for the player, which is pretty cool. So that way, by default, you can talk to each other. Okay, you can simply go and talk to each other. And then whenever there's something being received on either one of these radios and it goes and triggers that speaker, it will then go and start switching the audio from the headsets to the radios themselves. Nice and simple, really nice and easy. Of course, you still need your own way of controlling the radios, whether it be different channels and things like that. But this is how you can feed three different audio sources into one seat and vice versa. But that's pretty much about it. Hopefully you have enjoyed this short little tutorial uh, and hopefully it is useful for your creations here in the future. I would love to see some type of node or um, maybe some type of logic that the devs add in maybe in the future to deal with this instead of having to have speakers in our creations. But I don't know. You guys let me know your comments in the video description below. What do you think about this solution? Do you think we could do it differently in the future? And as always, I hope you have enjoyed this and found it entertaining and informative as always, and we'll see you in the next one.